Hello, adventurers. I'm your host, Connor Necromancer. Welcome back to Let's Play Neverwinter Nights. Previously on, we explored the nymph's house and found the secret behind nothing. But we now know how to access the path to the spirit of the wood. We must go deeper now into the wood to find this mysterious waterfall in which we must kill Linu and, well, I guess, ourselves as well to find out the truth. Heart of the Forest. What a great title. What a great spider web. Shout out to the spiders. It's a spider by my computer. So we learn something nice to it. Ooh, that's a bear. What kind of bear? A die bear. A bear, but dire. Come here, bear. Let me scratch you. Oh, Linu. Don't you think that was a wee bit harsh? Goodness me. Okay, let's see uh, who the bear originally wrecked. It certainly wasn't us. We defeated him flawlessly. Uh, it takes forever to load in. Ooh, need that. Do we have a potion uh, here? Or do I have a potion of heal? That's great. Why is that potion unidentified? Let's see if I can tell with my spider knowledge. A sphere potion. A poison used to kill the sphere. Oh, that's not very good, is it? Hmm. Good thing they may or may not have got killed by that bear who ate them. <laughs> That's how bears eat. That's a pretty tray. Oh, 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 oh. oh. Sorry, dear. <laughs> Just stabs it in the throat. Ooh, another cave. Oh, poof. For Lummy's sake. Come on, die bear. Let's go then. That's Tango. Whoa, he just blocked both of our attacks. You know, Lena, you kind of deserve that, consider all things considered. <sighs> Lena, you need to stop dying. Like, ever. Never again. Yeah, I think this is just an ancient... Dire bear thingamabob. Yeah. yeah. Okie doke. Yep, let's start owning the bear. Not like purchasing him and bringing him home, like destroying his HP and uh, his life. Okay, potion time, potion time, potion time, potion time. Potion time, potion time, potion time, potion time, potion time, potion time, potion time. Great. Thank you for the double heal. Mino kind of reminds me of Donald sometimes. Come on, bear, just just die. So many potions. Oh, oh, oh! Come every single time. <sighs> Do 
These bodies better have something good. Great. I haven't done a big sell yet. Should probably work towards that. Really, nothing else? I mean, there's, there's one more body, but, uh... Hmm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> Guess we all know who, how he died. Alright, that was fun. Lost six of my critical wounds potions, but, uh, you know, I digress. I digress. Come on! <laughs> well, there's that altar that the nymph was speaking about. Kill me again, please, Lenu. We're gonna ignore that altar for the time being because we don't want to do that yet. Not about completing quests in a quick fashion. No, no. We're gonna explore everywhere. There's one more place we have to go before. We should head over to the altar, and that is this cave over here. It looks very tempting, I'm sure. Because it is. Because there's experience and there's questing to be done. See, it was very important beforehand to pick up that uh, mirror that we found in the, ch the chest. This house is extremely trapped. Oh, you can actually look in here. 18 gold pieces? That's probably a good spot to hide money. I didn't know it'd be there. I believe this house owner uses a lot of elementals, but they aren't super, super high leveled, so, uh, works for me. Yeah, here we are. We can read that vial, however. Amongst the swiftest, 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 and the most agile creatures in existence, elementals are often summoned for great battles over vast stretches of open terrain. They aren't even going to attack us. Oh, I got sent to my knees. Lino is just... On the floor. If you started killing some of them, this wouldn't you wouldn't have to heal so often. Victory will be ours. Also, why did you use a lot of your weak healing spells and then at the very end use your big healy one? Whatever. Now I'm pretty sure the book is gonna be here, because I don't really see where else it could possibly be. So by that logic it should be here. And if it isn't, I'm going to be very sad. I do have to say, though, for the elemental designs in this game, they're probably my favorite out of any game ever. I mean, elementals are just so cool. Have I read these guys before? Chaotic and destructive, Mifits come in many shapes and have a wide variety of abilities. Most are drawn from various elemental and quasi-elemental planes. Not familiar on what the difference would be, but that's okay. A method, but an ice one. Could also be on the glowy bookshelf. You never know. You never know books. Okay, you know you're gonna heal me. Please. <laughs> really, you don't have any other spells. Can I at least rest? 
if it's trapped and I die, it's your fault. Aha! I knew it. Well, I didn't, but I did. I guessed, but my observation was correct. I might just teleport and rest in a moment. At least these guys are pretty fragile. That's all I have to say about them. Give it a moment. Okay, we're gonna, I'm gonna be right back after I've rested. I mean, you're having a dance party where we're trying to sleep isn't a good idea. Jeez. I know you don't follow the deity tier, but come on, have some respect. I almost closed the door. I just, nope. Oh god, that's gonna hurt them. And it did. Mino is not good with invisible stalkers, it appears. Their bio is obviously a stalker, but invisible. Okay, you can go around killing those guys. I'm just gonna explore over here. She did a lot of damage. Good job, Weenie. Well, it's kind of worth it, because I really needed that. Oh, good god, Weenie. What happened to you? No, they actually don't heal me. I just did it out of instinct, Lena. I'm sorry. Got a little angry that <laughs> Chess decided to hurt me, so I just boomed. I didn't explode, I mean. I just ex destroyed it. You know what I mean. Nice. We're getting all our potions there. Just what we needed. A karate chop. I'm gonna go on a limb in one of these two doors. It's probably the right way. Can't be sure though. Nothing in this room. At least there's not a bunch of pixies. Anime dead. Shame I can't use that. We'll rest again for Linu's purposes. This is gonna be a trap after I rested. Or not. Cure critical wounds. In potion form. Could you imagine just the advertisement for that? Had you been too busy to see your cleric? Well, now you can have cure critical wounds in potion form. For only 100 gil. You lost a limb? Drink this potion. It will grow back. Ooh, water elementals. I like that. Ferocious and powerful as any stormy sea. Water elementals are capable of... Uh, yeah, are capable of entering far from a body of water that give them birth. Well, th okay, they're by water. That's fair, that's fair. So I wouldn't count that as a great body of water for them, but, uh, you know, they made their life choices. Oh, God. Always have trouble with you. Always. I mean, can you focus on the flesh golem, not the stag beetles, please? See, like that. Uh huh. First time we did it without dying horribly. I almost actually didn't see the stalker there. Oh, there's Bree, the final one. This proud, beautiful woman has a proud and almost arrogant look about her that detracts from her almost. Alright, 
we're gonna go deal with these stag beetles. How nice am I just to open the door for them? Holy! Jeez. Probably the armor I have now two of is actually gonna be really good. Hmm. Oh, you have to get the key. Yeah. Sorry, Bree, you're gonna get to... You're stuck in there for a while. I mean, not for a while. I'm pretty sure the room we need is right here. Ouch. Taste of my this ancient creature is almost too unbearably hideous to look at. I actually like that portrait design. Not that bad. I'm just gonna steal right in front of her, don't mind me. See Tara. Okay. What in Sunni's name are you doing in my house? This forest is destroying itself. Oh, that's not her voice. I'm trying to find the best way to save it. Do you think that gives you the right to barge into my home? You come here, slaughter my servants, help yourself to my possessions, and you think that's a noble intention suffice to explain your actions? I'm sorry, but your creatures or servants, as you call them, attacked me first. You are intruding my home. My servants were merely trying to protect me, as good servants should. So what, you think you that there would be anything in my house where you could hope you save the forest? I'm desperate for information or anything that could help. Or, no, but whatever. If I knew anything I, that could really help the animals, I would certainly have done something about it. I've been doing some research, but I haven't gone very far. So what I don't do is help people. You come to stare and humiliate me just because I have fallen so far from glamorous beauty to despite a fright. To dissipate or whatever. I didn't come here to gawk. What happened to you? It's none of your business and I don't like to talk about it. If you're not, if you're interested, there's something you could help me with. What can I help you? The only thing that holds true value for me is my beauty. There's a nymph who lives in this forest who has a mirror that can return my beauty. I overheard two dryads talking about it. Just before all this trouble started. The nymph lives in the northwest of here. I would get it myself, but I can't go anywhere near her. The unearthly beauty of her face physically hurts me. She shuns me because I'm ugly. Please, please give me that mirror. If you really want me to get that mirror, perhaps you should show some trust by what happened to you. No, it's none of your business. You will help me or leave. What can I help you do? Do you need a Let's try persuading her again. Just yes. I don't know why you should care, but if it would convince you to help me, then I guess I can tell you. When I turned 30, I found that I had my first noticeable wrinkle. The thought of my beauty fading terrified me. I decided I should try and make a potion of longevity to help me keep young. I, I won't tell you all the details, but somehow I messed up the potion when I drank it and so on. Setting becoming 15 years younger, I aged 100 years. So I sustained my life in ways I cannot discuss, but I found a solution to my problem. If only you would help me. What are you willing to give me if I help you? I have a small gem that might interest you. It, was it has elven writing, scribes of facets, and seems to have some value to an elf in Port Last. He's been writing me, trying to convince me to give it up, but I couldn't be bothered. I'm sure you can sell them for a fair price. I also have knowledge of the whereabouts of Druid who might be missing. She might have some information on the spirit of the wood. If you do what I ask, I will give you both. Alright, what do you want me to Really? Really. Oh, thank you, dear man. I look forward to the return of my dazzling beauty I once possessed. Should you be successful, I will gladly give you this precious gem and tell you I know what the druids. If, indeed, that is the kind of reward you still desire, then. <laughs> well, good luck and please don't be long. Joe's on, you already have it. You have rich, sir. The best meal is to Oh, yes, yes, yes. I'm so glad you. I trusted you with the task. Now I, if you give it to me, then I can be cured. You will be blessed upon my true, dazzling beauty. I want the gem and the information, though. Of course, he has a gem, and you should be able to get something from the elf, Elaine, in Port Last. He seemed rather desperate for it. 
You can find a druid locked in the southwest most room. Here is the key to the cell door. Don't worry, she has not been harmed. Look at me, it worked. I am beautiful again. I'll bet you never expected me to be so incredibly stunning now, did you? But you don't look different. Yes, I do. You must be blind. You, no, wait. You are just jealous of me because I'm so much better looking than you. Yes, that's a good way, simpleton. Oh, I am so very beautiful. Well then, we're gonna loot all your stuff. We haven't come across a Bardock yet, have we? And I'm not looking forward to that encounter. Because they be tricky. We actually will be encountering one once we head down to Charwood. So that will not be fun. And I... No promises. Perish as you should. Okay, I got a little nervous there. <laughs> So I assume the mirror just showed her what she wanted to see instead of actually doing anything, but whatever, as long as she doesn't, you know, murder anyone. She is rank impossible, apparently. Feel my sick, I got to explore. Don't know what's with my accents this episode, jeez. Just it is. Chest of drawers it is. You have really light treasure. Except for that book, but you know. Let's go speak to Bree. And then I think we'll call it for a day. Leave my face alone, you horrible. Oh, wait. You're not that ghastly hag. No, I'm not. I'm Connor Spacefire. And who are you? My name is Bree. Besides being the most beautiful druid in Neverwinter Wood, I'm also one of the druids who's investigating the problems with this wood spirit. Why don't you tell me what happened to you? I was wandering through the forest, dodging encounters from normal inhabitants. There was no point in even trying to sneak speak with the animals. They were almost rabid with fear and anger. Then I thought of the witch. Why would you seek out that witch? The animals always held the witch in high esteem. She protects them and helps them quite often. I figured that the spirit probably won't have any control over her mind, so perhaps she would be some source of information. I found the witch in a clearing near here. She was harvesting some herbs at the time, so I came up quietly and waited for her to notice me. She worked for a while, then turned and smiled at me. Her eyes remained fixed on my face for a long time. Did she recognize you or something? She just seemed to admire my looks. No surprise, really. Since she certainly has none, she convinced me to enter her house and we sat down to have tea. We talked a little bit. I started to get dizzy. I realized there was something in my tea. The next thing I knew, I was locked in this room. The witch had came in and muttered something about seeing my face. Don't know what she meant by that, although if I had a face, her face, I'd want a different one too. Now that you've freed me, I will return to the grove and consult the other druid the spirit of the witch. Tell me what you've learned. It's gone insane. The whole force is caught up in insanity, and someone, and if someone doesn't stop it soon, I fear the creature will start tearing at each other, tearing each other apart. The no creature is normally, spirit is normally peaceful, and comes in the wood through its pool that tends and to tend to the creatures. Since the vines began, the spirit hasn't come through at all. If it had, I would have tried to talk to it. How about so? The pool is some sort of entrance to another realm where the spirit lives. I haven't the slightest idea what the other realm looks like, though. Why didn't you go in? I don't know much about the pool, most just stories. I do know that no other living creature has gone through the portal and into the other realm. 
I think Orlane told me something about the, how the portal exists between the realms between life and death, and the spirit exists as some sort of half-life. So if I could go back and forth through the portal, we can't. Do you need help escaping? Can you make it on your own? I think I can make it on my own. I'll meet you at the Druid Grove. Carry the image of my beautiful face in your mind for, na for good luck. Farewell. Well, she was a little full of herself. Kind of surprised she was a druid, but whatever. Whatever. Thank you, everyone, for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you stick around for more adventuring in Neverwinter Nights. Farewell, adventurers, and good luck.